Greetings everyone, welcome back to uh, Honkai Star Rail. And so, we are, we're, we're gonna, be, gonna, gonna be continuing the story and whatnot, cause I want to do that. And also just real quick, um, real quick, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it before in the last video, but they're, they're doing a Fate Stay Night collab. And I like Fate, so I'm going to be uh, playing that, you know? I'm going to be playing, uh, well, I'm going to be, I'm saving for, to do Fate, I'm saving up the things, because I don't know if there's going to be a, any banner for it. I'm pretty sure there might, but whatever. I also think I kind of went a bit over the story, like at the end of last video, because it kind of just wouldn't let me stop. So I think I'm a little bit over. Let's see. Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's <laughs> not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. The Arbor's Resurrection. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Lafu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level. It's just okay. that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. Okay. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me. So that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. Sure. So, where should we begin? I don't know. I I don't really want to know anything else. <laughs> that we may. But as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. Currently, my character pity is at like 70, I think. So, if uh, the Fate Stay Night Club does have a banner, then I should be able to get it. Um, get the character on it if I save up until then. Because <laughs> it's not until next March, which is For still example, a while away. How was the Stellaron brought onto the Sea and Joe? And who mm -hmm. sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How know. many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting the totally. report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Xi and Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. I was yeah, about yeah, to make yeah. the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Mm. Yeah. Totally. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some cloud night matters. Totally. Oh, if you pass through Starskip Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. Something, Mr. Yuma? It was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took Florin, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where Ting Yin the Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Or Ting Yun never existed. <laughs> I'm already prepared for the worst. Ting Yun. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. Uh -huh. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place, and I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Totally. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, 
I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Okay. I don't know when we're going to the next, uh, the next area, but I, I want to go there because I need Acheron relics. <laughs> and those are where the best ones are for Acheron. Because, uh, yeah. I need, I need my Acheron to be strong, but, uh, let me, uh, go here. Not there, I mean, but this. Okay, we gotta go there. What the heck? Weren't we just here? I don't know. But let's go. Hey, Yukong. Hello, Yukong. <laughs> See, please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. Uh, this is this this person right here is the only four star I'm missing. I will. I believe. Our so condolences, Hell Master. Uh, you have guests. I shall take my leave. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellawan Crisis. Totally. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Um, Miss Tingyun left this behind. You. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. Uh -huh. The antimatter legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? Also, so I made a Persona 3 video and I have the webcam footage on my phone. But before I recorded it, I forgot to switch to uh, H2. Uh, 40 something. I don't really know what it's called. I s forgot to switch to that to record in that. But I didn't. I didn't switch. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm still in the, like, default HEVC or whatever it's called. I'm still in that default. So it's a very big pain to actually get it onto my computer. Someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turned out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise. What happened to the real Ting Yun? Like I said, she probably never even existed. <laughs> uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Totally. Why aren't you letting me go? Come on, go. Yeah. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers, sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? Uh, what? I... I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> But so, um, I remember back when we were on Bellabog, you know, there's Sampo, he was mad sus, he's a, he's a bad guy, I don't, I think, I don't know, I don't know what he is, I feel like we'll find out later on, um, but then here, I, and, and here I predicted that Ting Yun was gonna be a bad guy. <laughs> a soul soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. Damn. You see, for long life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Uh -huh. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, 
And so they passed away. Totally. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, mm. those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yu. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yu from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still okay. hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, I... She's dead. <laughs> how, how, how would you not, like, you know, it's not your... I can do for her. Oh, no, no. Not considering anything, you know, she's probably, more than likely, dead. I'd like to ask you Deceased. all to witness this event with me. I don't want to. Uh, how can we help? We'll be there at the ceremony. God I've damn you! Yen Ming to oh, it's gonna be through nice. Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star skiff. Leave ah, this to us. Yeah. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukong. Once again, oh, whatever. thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony. And have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Nivalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Okay. I need to check something. So we got this this new guy here. And Sparkle's back. Like last update there was um there was Hua Hua, which I was trying to get Hua Hua, but I failed at getting Hua Hua. So I'm kinda sad about that. These aren't back yet. When did it come back? In four days. Okay. Well, I was trying to get Huahuo, -hua, but I failed miserably. So my my pity's at this. Need to view that. Thirteen days. Goddamn. Okay. So we got. Why why aren't you letting me? Okay. Five. Ten. Come on. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, okay, so like 65 or so, okay, whatever, I want to come check out, uh, stuff here, is that E3, <laughs> E3 for Hanya, which I'm still only missing one four star character, because I have all of them here, and uh, it's kind of similar with uh, Genshin Impact. In Genshin Impact, I have all the four-star characters. <laughs> I'm just missing one more in this game. Characters. Over to four-star. You. Yeah, I'm just missing you. Five stars. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot here. Don't know who I want. <laughs> I want C uh, Zila. She was supposed to, she was gonna be the first character that I get, you know, but I failed miserably. And then I ended up summoning on the next banner and getting Jing Yuan. And I also want Kafka, I want Topaz, I want uh, Jing Liu, Hua Hua. Um, I don't know who, uh, maybe Black Swan. Oh, yeah, Black Swan. I, I, I know she's pretty good because I tried her out in, um, by using somebody else's black swan in uh for farming for stuff so yeah whatever where do we go we gotta go that way and talk to bro over here hello you always did say that i like to gossip and here i am rambling on proving you right again <laughs> if only you were here to cut me off <laughs> Uh, 
mystery. Oh. And it's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. Bruh. Did the helm? Okay. We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. Okay. Okay, let's see what there is. Crap. Bro, the heck? Let this open. Okay, there we go. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife. A bow and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, I don't know. Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. How the heck do you place it correctly? There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. <laughs> I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and mm. distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh. Uh -huh. I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. What could I possibly gift her back? I don't know, she's dead, so... <laughs> huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want to take a look in the box. There's nothing else, except a handful of seeds. Uh -huh. it, it looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? I don't know. I'm not you. Uh, look at the knife. I can't cook to save my life. But one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. <laughs> okay. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must Why would be another she? gift it's that a she never knife. had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Or she, she likes to Supreme. cook. Huh. A room alley? Which store is that again? I don't know. Uh, the bow. This bow. It's a bow. Oh. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me. Could it? Imagine. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't. You weren't the only archer she knew. All right, just kidding. I'm <laughs> just trying to liven things up around here. Uh, we should get going. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Uh, I don't know. So there's the seal, small chest sent. Uh, to the sleeping Earl. Um, kitchen. Uh, okay, hold up. Okay, uh, we 
gotta go to our room um our room alley or whatever i'm gonna go v or not because it's not gonna show me where it is back okay right over here um teleport right there okay <laughs> I'm trying to convert my, um, okay. I'm trying to convert my, uh, the sleepless Earl. my, my, my webcam video Welcome to, the sleepless to Earl. a different, I'm the to a different thing, <laughs> oh, this is, but it's this not, is the tea Miss Tinyu promised to get for me. She but really take went, when I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Aren't you five? Why are you like taking over for your parents already? Famous <laughs> brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing Miss Tea okay. Noon came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CN Joe had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Team Yoon today? Dead. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's she's dead. <laughs> oh, Miss Team Yoon. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Team Yoon would have liked for you to have it thank you all of you i think i should give something to team yoon in return okay um uh, make meng ming what? based on her suggestion <laughs> i improved the whale tide spring emerald hills and dawn dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet long-lasting taste I called okay. it Ting Yoon's blend. Bruh. Seeing as Ting Yoon won't be able to try it, we should drink a cup to her memory. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> we got tea. So now we're just gonna carry tea in our back pocket. It's weird. Okay. Now we gotta go here. Wherever here is. Haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. Um, the Waffle you? is famous for its mung bean soda. I, I assume you. How's it going? Uh, you're just Did you here. Take some time off. See any more of the Sienjo? Isn't that um. the place on Auramali over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a <laughs> feast? Uh. No. It's the main commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum, although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Uh huh. Tourists fresh off the Starskip always head to Star Watcher Avenue in Starskip Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Where that line just got <laughs> Whenever I'm tired of celestial jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. She for real just sounds like an NPC. Whatever. We gotta go there. But it's, it's not that. Well, yeah, it's behind behind this. Okay, whatever. We're going to this alleyway. Dream four. Okay. Yeah. Check out that sign. Here I really wish you could jump in this game. Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? We're here on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Something from Miss Ting Yun for me? Oh, what a precious person she is. Oh, sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto. 
you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. <laughs> okay. But who do I give the bow to? Captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. Wow, look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If but we're like, talking was gifts, Ting Yin being us controlled, be gifting her or something. was it just something? I don't know. Oh, I heard the trade court is open again for business. Miss Ting Yun must be real busy, right? Actually, <laughs> actually, she's dead. <laughs> this, this is real, right? <laughs> the monster you mentioned, where did it come from? I wish I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. Huh. Thank you, all of you. Let me prepare a dish for you as a gift from Miss Tang Yun. Okay. She's just cooking food. Just, just, just cooking food. It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. Please, you'll have to eat her share too. Okay. <laughs> About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Who? Mr. Yun Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift. here who do you think um it's for huh who's messaging me karma you don't have to be in star gazer in the valley right now how did you know oh i forgot about that <laughs> sorry now it's not the time for jokes i saw on uh Psychrain system that you were nearby there's an important task i need to you uh your help with it's really urgent uh, the exulting sanctum skies don't malfunction have to okay I don't care I don't care about your problems okay where's your crash life whatever come on <sighs> I don't care about your problems okay no stop it go away I gotta go over here though uh, what the heck is Yu Kong doing over here? Why is Yu Kong over here? What brings you here? We're here to pass on a gift from Miss Ting Yin. <laughs> this bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I okay. fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging. Like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Okay. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant. 
always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice. Even if she was my subordinate, she never fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. Bruh, 30 short years? I used to think that the years? had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. Yada yada yada, quit your yapping, Yukong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. But yet, you didn't help us fight the other guy, you know? <laughs> Fucking Fantilia. Starskiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone. Please place your objects aboard the star skiff. Wait, wait, wait for me. Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow ambassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Uh huh. Hurry up. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I, I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. Uh -huh. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars for her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy okay <laughs> okay so let's go over to scar skip star star hmm. skip out of all this stuff we've got what do you think we should place on the star skiff all of it uh, the tea. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially her favorite this is dish. A gift from Thank the seal. you. This time okay. we needn't compete. Go, fly on to other distant worlds. <laughs> the Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth, and if it is discovered that you were taken from us. I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. Okay. Where? There. I don't. I don't. Uh, that. Dude. Right there. Teleport. Okay. No, no, no. Must. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay. Everyone's just there. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Very strange how this guy is uh, the same guy as uh, Sino. Or Sa- yeah, Sino, right? Sino from uh, Genshin Impact. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to give the Express. What is it? What, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Uh, I like some free real estate. <laughs> I like some free real estate. 
<laughs> Let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. <laughs> Bruh. Nah. Yes, I would like some free real estate. Okay. Hello, uh, Jing Yuan. Why is there a giant, uh, board here? It's like a shogi board? What, what is that? <laughs> Hello. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo Lo Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the nameless. I am sure Lady Fu Better has get given something voice to this already, good. but the Lo Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Lo Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with the Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. I don't know what that does. It's probably useless. A jade abacus? Is this a souvenir? <laughs> it could indeed be considered a souvenir of a certain variety, but not one you could find in a gift store. Back when the alliance was it's probably first useless. As I have no use for this. Ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a jade abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall. Like, a piece of but your hair is more useful than this. <laughs> the same is true of this, Jade Abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my hand. Okay. No matter how astronomically distant you are, mm -hmm. the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew. Whatever your need may be. Man, I don't need your help. <laughs> wow, now that's I what I call a do, payoff. But still. Okay. <clears throat> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I I I, I, I will use it for those circumstances. Yep, got it. Say no more, sure thing. <laughs> no. Like Quite literally, the next mission, once I like run into a single like boss enemy, I'm gonna say, hey, yo, fam, get Thank over you here. For your generosity, <laughs> General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely. On the law food. Nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> but I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, Will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, Though I feel my efforts would be... I don't want to listen to your whack-ass poetry. Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. Yes. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. <laughs> May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. Yeah. We're a lot more <laughs> welcome here farewell. than Bellabog because freaking um... Forgot her name. Which I want her to be playable, you know. It's just Jade Abacus. The Jade Abacus is serious. What, 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 what do you want, Welt? Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gates reopen. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission, too, right? <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? 
We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got a I'd like to visit some of the friends we made along the way. I don't uh, think so. <laughs> I've got goldfish memory. We haven't had a chance to say goodbye to everyone we met so far on this trip. Man, I don't care. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the express. The two of you come back soon, okay? No. I am going don't back worry, to the express. Mr. Yang. I don't want to talk to all these whack ass people. Uh, uh, return to the express. Yes, I will return to the express. Because that is all I ever want to do. Um, a parlor car, teleport, there. Also, I There's think leveled up, so I should go check out, uh, check with, uh, I forgot the little rabbit's name. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? I don't know. From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. I see. Hello? Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the poetry. Yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, yeah, you're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little uh -huh. excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time? I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Welt can stay on the express. <laughs> totally. Since when did the work roster just change like that? Uh, what's a uh, next stop? Panacone. Do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, mm -hmm. that was our original destination. I think I remember. Panacone. The Express's records show that Panacone was a prison planet used by the IPC to exile criminals. At least, it was at the time of recording. However, following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipe. They say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. Why are you talking, uh, like... The family like, is throwing uh, a banquet there, or and they sent invitations know. out to the Express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. Going to a banquet? When was the banquet? We've been gone for like like uh, three months. Eh, I don't know. It's only been, when the is ready, been that long we for can me, set off for but the next still. <laughs> I don't know how long we were on freaking the La Fu. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Hello, Locha. All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely lost traveler <gasps> what a spectacle the stellaron the ambrosial arbor the disciples of sanctus medicus the lord ravager a series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question they who brought the stellaron onto the siendro what was their motive <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power what? does indeed stem from the abundance. Mm. But I'm the same mm. as you. Mm. We are both enemies mm. of Yaosher. That's right, Jing Yuan. Ooh. Stay out of our way. The revival <laughs> of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. God damn. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, it's, uh, we forgot, will put forgot the her abundance name. in their grave. But God damn. <laughs> God damn. Okay. That was something. Okay. Everyone's over there. Is what? What? <laughs> the name sender. Open it. You unfold the letter, and the ink immediately becomes visible. 
It's as it's as if an invisible hand holds the pen like a sword, making swift. Okay. I have learned of your return to your home, how you unpended the ancient seas and saved the world from danger. I am sure this has recovered your forgotten memories. In accordance with our old vow, we should once again roam our lands of past drink and celebration and recount the great adventures. I'm pretty sure that's for Don Hung. Yeah, it's a letter for Don Hung. It's a letter for Don Hung, but who is it from? I should ask the conductor. Uh, don't really want to do that now. Oh, come on. Hello, Clara. What are you doing? <laughs> come over here. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. <laughs> Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Oh, okay. Uh, so what came up? Are we switching routes again? Does not exist in this universe. God, what are we talking about? Um, but like, so we're gonna meet um, freaking the other characters like uh, Black Swan and uh, I forgot the other people's Rome? names. I don't even remember Black Swan. Anyway, third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. God, what do you want? If you could. I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Um, are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. <laughs> Just like most I of want the new worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison. And it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Is this a rare happening? Who could be this? Uh, uh, who could be this important? Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these names? Penacone is probably like a democracy or something. How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold, mm. and what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessors' footsteps—that is in itself an adventure, mm. wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars guess, behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? Mm. According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legor, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. I don't know no who any of those people are. Details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like their real names either. Are we also gonna meet Boothill? Like we'll just leave it to the stars of fate. 
considering the nameless is and sparkle yeah all the characters i haven't met yet and all the playable characters that are in the game like Hua. Well, yeah Hua Hua. Okay. i don't know have i met Hua Hua? i don't think so but Hua Hua is not here i'm pretty sure Hua Hua is a fox here right? i don't know i'll we'll see there's still some time before the jump i should talk to everyone i don't want to talk to everyone Man, You're the picture of why are you just over here standing behind I Clara like a weirdo? You're standing over here by Clara like a weirdo. <laughs> Back game. Um, hey, Welt. How's it going? They're proud. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> We're resting, Raku. Okay, time to go talk to uh, Don Hung and March seventh. Seven's room is so like decorated and stuff. I don't know how I could do that. Oh, <laughs> you just have a picture of Clara on your wall. Why? Okay, you just have pictures of all those like screenshots and stuff. Okay, that that one picture of Clara right there. I drew it for. I just drew that for a thumbnail, and that was the first time I drew on a computer. Well, draw with like the drawing tablet on a computer, but like. The room's so decorated. I don't know what I'll do for, um, like, in the Star Wars Minecraft thing. I don't have a reflection. Great. Like, the roof, I found pretty cool how I did that. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go back. Sit on the sofa and prepare for the warp jump. It's about time. I should find a seat. Okay. Let's sit down. This isn't the first time we've did this. This is the third time. The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. Okay. The train is about to make the jump. Five. Four. There's no seatbelts. Well, what? What the heck? Who's that all about? <laughs> we just see the future. the heck where are we <laughs> okay this is not the astral express <sighs> not another one oh come with me hello akron what is this place <sighs> these questions have no meaning but i will answer you as best what are you as i talking can talking about <laughs> this is the border between reality and the memory zone a dreamscape okay right this moment you and i have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds this is the land of dreams inaugural welcome for us worry not for very quickly you will awaken from this dream <laughs> Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness okay. happens with each new dawn. It isn't a curse. Okay. So, Look at this. come with me. Uh, huh. I'll take you home. Okay. Cool. Totally. Uh, pff. Left, <laughs> the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Why are things floating? <laughs> why, why is the teapot floating? Okay. Uh, this place is. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This what is. What the heck? No way. <laughs> the this heck? way. <laughs> the heck am I? After you. Am what? I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even the f <laughs> What the heck? Why not? <laughs> she can hear the thoughts in my head. Okay, that's weird. 
We're almost there. What is those still guys? Walk? Now I am become now I am become a trailblaze. The para pupilator of walls. <laughs> yes. You're funny. <laughs> if you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Man. I want to look wherever I want. Looking down. <laughs> Hello. These what voices. Are you, what are you up to? They're just shot. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? These are two playable characters. <gasps> What's Dr. Ratio doing here? <laughs> What's Dr. Ratio doing here? <laughs> Dr. Ratio is just there. Hey, Sparkle and Black Swan. Okay. All the playable characters that there. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. What the heck? Dude, this is very tripping. It's a horror game or something? Nice. <laughs> We're here. This is a door. Welcome to the Reverie. May oh. you experience Hello, Misha. unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Okay. Just just Misha. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But Why? Before you do, I would make a request of you. What do you want, Acheron? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. What? Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps we have. <laughs> you evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. Bro, I don't know anything about my past, so whatever. I don't know. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things which is why rather than memories i'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what i normally wouldn't otherwise the answer is inconsequential your spontaneous reaction is what matters oh okay <laughs> for instance when you awaken in your room your lips speak several names are they your companions family enemies you seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Totally. I don't know. I feel no fear. If it means that I will disappear, I would. I cannot bear such fear. If it means losing them, I would. If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, mm. would you wish to stay? Mm. I would, no matter the cost. If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. <laughs> Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. Okay. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, 
The answer is inconsequential. Hearing, okay. touch, Let me go home thought. now. <laughs> Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you from somewhere. I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was I my see. final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. Will we meet again? The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long night, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, <laughs> your sight will only see black and white. But please believe Why? me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Bro, that's just basically like her, you know, her skill. Or like her burst, you know. Her burst, everything turns black and white, and then she's just red. <laughs> what you must do now is ponder its significance. The heck? <laughs> and then you can return to the waking what? world. Oh, man. <laughs> Dreams of a tragic future. I may have dreams of an old friend. Yes. Mm, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Estahana and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. <laughs> dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the express arrived at Panacone. Can you okay. imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Penacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Okay. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Uh, probably. <laughs> Meet with March 7th. Such a strange name, though. Yeah. <laughs> They're just March 7th. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Walt and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Hmm, shall we go meet up with them now? Uh, I'm ready to Panacone, go. The planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. I don't care about an amusement park, you know. I'm just here to progress with the story. <laughs> And to uh, to find Akron. I don't know how I'm gonna find Akron. You know. <laughs> We're here at last. Well, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Thankfully, they didn't. The Stellaron is stable. Uh, thankfully, they didn't. <laughs> uh, has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. Damn, pretty big hotel. <laughs> Where are our rooms? But come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Man, 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Misha. Welcome to the Reverie. Yeah. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. It's the child from the dream. <laughs> I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here! Something's not right! What? Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, our, go ahead. Don't is our keep room like, waiting. you know, not existent? Do we not have a room? I mean, I need to check that. Yeah. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Why? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. <laughs> Something's wrong. What's going on? And yes, I'm Mr. Dong Hung reporting for duty. <laughs> Something's wrong. Uh, yes, your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I, mm. I understand. Mm -hmm. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... Show Trailblazer profile. Show ar um, Architects Lance? What? <laughs> what do I pick? This one? No, I don't know. I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on mm. the eve of the Charmin mm. Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Well, hotel mm. security is on high mm. alert with zero room for error. And with such a last-minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. Uh, My esteemed guests it's not from really the Astral what? Express. What? You have four rooms reserved. There's her. four people here. You don't, you know. It's... <laughs> we are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> okay. I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? <laughs> I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? What are you talking about? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Cry about it. Nobody cares. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. Okay. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. 
<laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? <laughs> now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Peniconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... What? If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. This guy's a bitch. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Panicone trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm okay. glad you put it this way. So about the vouching. There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, Sunday, bro. But... But, bro. Don't just Ali, go, but... Just a moment. <laughs> the family cannot allow Sunday. guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. <laughs> it's Sunday. The most handsome Robin. man. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. These two were in my dream. Dashing person in Penicone. How interesting. Bruh. <laughs> I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Bruh. What? Astral Express, yes. <laughs> please come this way and rest your feet. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. But guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. We um we you know heard a space station, uh Rilo five or whatever it's called. Then uh the Zhanshu Lafu. Now we're in Panicone. The next uh the next planet. This wasn't really a planet, it was just a giant ship, but whatever. So guys, um I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Wait, um, what? So yeah. You're uh hope <laughs> Whatever. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and bye bye.